Oh everybody, Pinstripe here. What is going on? Welcome to another Hogs of War tutorial. Today showcasing how you guys can access the Ace and Legend classes in both the PC and PS1 version. Uh, so we're going to start off with the PS1 version and what you want to do is uh, download HXD which is pivotal to this tutorial. Uh, it is a hex editor. All the links to every single download that I mention will be in the description. Uh, and I will also recommend downloading uh, PSX Fin, which is just another emulator, uh, but it's one that houses uh, some, you know, easy to use memory cards because you are going to need the memory card function, I guess, for the PS1 version. Uh, with the PC version, not so much, uh, but we'll get into that when we get to the PC version. Anyway, so you want to start off, uh, once you've got all those downloaded, you want to start off by obviously launching uh, Hogs of War. I apologize if the frame rate is bad, uh, but that's probably because um, I'm not using fraps right now. Uh, so you want to obviously find your Hogs of War game, launch that bad boy up. It's going to skip through all this. So with it launched, you then want to obviously start a new game, pick whatever team, doesn't matter what. And then you want to save it. Now the beautiful thing about uh, PSX Fin is that the memory cards are easy to use. I've been having trouble with uh, EPSX E. I know that's the one that everyone goes for, and I do too. I use it for the majority of my Hogs of War recording videos. Um, but I've been having trouble with memory cards with that particular emulator uh, so if you do know how to sort out memory cards and stuff with other emulators then by all means you know use those you don't have to use this emulator but I find this one to be the easiest as you can see it, it runs very fast it's a good emulator anyway um, but yeah that's just my preference so with that saved you've got your team saved or whatever uh, you want to close the emulator and then you want to open up HXD um, we're putting in the uh, hex code value for the ace class first because they can be accessed uh, throughout the entire game so you can start a new campaign, start with grunts and then change them to the ace class. Uh, we'll get to the legends afterwards. You want to select, this is this is my memory card by the way, it's got my name, I, I don't know why I, I called it myself but there you go. You want to select the MCR file, uh, not the back file. Um, which as you know from the PC version is usually what you want to do. You'll have two files that are usually the same if you have one memory card. Uh, now this may look very confusing, uh, but we're going to be looking for the offset, which is these values over here. And you want to be keeping an eye on uh, the lines 05 and 07, because that's what we're going to be editing. So you want to scroll down to the line 2470. <laughs> which uh, is far away at the moment because we're starting off as zero, 00 and obviously it goes up in increments of 10 with some letters in there. I don't know why, just because hex values are complicated. So you want to scroll down all the way until you see some stuff happening here because you saw back at the top it's all zero, zeros. Um, oh, I've gone too far. So you come to the line 2470, you look for line 5, you make sure it's you know in line with line 2470 uh, you go to line 5 and then you change that to a value of 0 F and you do exactly the same on line 7 so 0 F and then you keep going down so you go down to line 2400 B 0 and again you're gonna be doing everything on lines 5 and 7 so do exactly the same thing. Put the value to 0F. Same on that side. If I can highlight it. Uh, go back down to 2400F0. Do the same thing. Um, I worked this out because I was looking for uh, these numbers here. When I was going through the PC hex values um, I kind of noticed that they were slightly similar in the, the lines that were being edited. I, I don't really know 100% how all of this works, by the way. It just sort of does. I don't understand what any of this is or, you know, what what equals what. I know that these two lines, 0, 5, they equal to the, the promotion 
the, these are like the promotion positions, and zero zero indicates that it's a grunt. So, you know, we're changing them from a grunt to an ace. Because Hogs of War, each pick has a particular value type. So a grunt is zero, zero, uh, a gunner is zero, one, um, a legend is 10. I don't know why. I hope you're following along, by the way. Keep adding those zero Fs until we get down to the final line of 2,000. 500 B0. So add those in. Wonderful. That is that edited. I believe you you can add another one here, but you don't really need to because most of your pigs are now aces. So you want to save that. Magic. You want to close HXD. Launch back up your, your game that you just saved your file to. Again, I can skip through all this, which is nice. And then you want to obviously load back up your game. When we do that, we should have a team of aces. They may not be a full team of aces. There may be like one pig left over who is a grunt. Yeah, as you can see, I missed out two, but that doesn't matter because you can just swap them over and there you go. So that is for the ace class. As you can see, he's called a Grenadier on the roster screen, which is kind of funky. Um, but that's how you get the aces on the PS1 version. Now I'm going to show you how to access the legend. Uh, so you want to start a new game. Again. Again, do the same thing. Start a new game. Save it. Maybe save it into a different slot so you've got a team of aces in one. So like, you know, that, that, that's our team of aces. And then maybe you want to put it here. Uh, for the sake of this tutorial, to make it easy, I'm just going to save over my team of aces. So we're back to the default grunts again. So with that done, again, close the game. Get HXD going. And we're going to do exactly the same thing. But instead of putting 0F in the, the value we were just at, so back down to line 2470. Where are you? There it is. So back to line five and line seven. You want to change that to a value of 10, which is what I said earlier. Legend has a value of 10. I think hero has a value of nine. We have all of the, the values um, in the Hogs of War Discord. So if you want to know more about being able to edit your, your pig roster before you start a campaign, then feel free to swing by and we can gift those values to you. So now that all those values have been changed, once again, we're going to save it. I'm going to close HXD and launch back up the uh, emulator. Load up our game again. Skip through the intro. <laughs> again. And then load up our game. Hopefully this isn't too laggy as well. I know it was before, but that was in full screen, so it might be a decent speed. So it will load successfully, and you will see that we have a team of legends. And on the roster screen, they are shown to be Pyrotech. Just, just Pyrotech, not Pyrotechnic, just Pyrotech. <laughs> so there is a big piece of, um, well, there's, a, there's a big issue with the legends, okay, in that you, can only play as them on the final mission of the single player campaign. I'm not bullshitting you because I will showcase it to you now. If you attempt to play through as the legends in any other mission that isn't the final one, they will sh they will be shown in game as a grunt. They will have 200 health. They will have all their weapons. But as you will see, they are shown as grunt. The other issue is that when I take my turn in a minute, uh, if I can take my turn, if I shoot the dude or do something, it will usually result in the game crashing. Or if I'm able to get my shot away, uh, it might do that, but then on the enemy's next turn, the game will crash. Any second now. How's it hanging, blood? 
Okay, at some point, the <laughs> at some point the game will crash. I don't know. It's gonna happen, guys. So yeah, <laughs> the game breaks. I, I was expecting it to suddenly just not break, by the way. <laughs> um, but you can see over here in the other panel, there's just stuff going on that shouldn't be. Execution illegal of code, lots of code. So the game is understanding that you are a legend, but you shouldn't be a legend. You're not allowed to be a legend. The reason why the Ace class works is because, uh, I don't know, it, it has the same character model as the hero, and the hero is playable, so I, I, I don't know the specifics of it, but the Ace class just works, whereas the Legend doesn't. So if you want to play as the Legend on the PS1 version, you can only edit the hex values when your campaign and your save file is on the fine is, is on the second to last mission so once you've completed mission 24 you want to save your game uh, and then open up hxc like we did edit the same values in the same place on lines five and seven uh, online starting from uh, the uh, the line 2470 you want to edit uh, all of your pig roster to the value of 10 save it and then you'll be able to play as the legends on the final level. I'm sorry that's the way it is, uh, but that's just how we found it out to be in the community. So for the PC version, it is literally the same process, but a lot simpler. So you wanna load up your game, and once again, start a new game. You want to start a new team, and then you wanna save them. It's a much faster process as well, because uh, it loads super quickly. As you can see, <laughs> I've got all of my uh, save files here. Uh, we've got the campaign there that I've been doing uh, for the past three years, <laughs> which uh, I can't believe it's taken me that long to do, but I've been very slow with it. We're getting there though, mission 23. Nearly there, guys. Nearly there. Uh, so I'm going to save it over this one, which is uh, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's going to be save army six. Uh, and that will make more sense in a minute. So just save your game. So I've saved it. That's cool. We're going to drop back to desktop now. Now you're back at desktop. You want to get to your Hogs of War uh, directory. Uh, and that is going to be through Steam. So you want to go to your program files. You want to scroll down to Steam. Go to Steam apps common and hogs of war so this is the main directory for hogs of war for the pc version you want to scroll down and you'll come across these bad boys here save army and then whatever number um, and as you can see as well you've got a file and you've got back files we saw the back file earlier uh, you want to open up the file of your save so if you have no saves on the pc version uh, the first one for you will be save army zero as i said i was counting so mine is save army six you want to, again, open up HXD. Open up the bad boy we were just talking about. So once again, go through all of your directory areas. And go down to Steam. Wait, program files. Steam. Once again, Steam apps. Common. Hogs of War. And then find the save army file that is yours. Remember again, select the file, not the back file. Open that bad boy up. <laughs> Open that bad boy up. And then everything is, you know, already here. This is where you want to be. You don't want to scroll down to anywhere else. You want to stay at the very top. And you want to look for line 30 uh, uh, on line 01. Uh, and then, if you want to play as the ace, again, like I said, input uh, 0F or input uh, value 10 to be a legend and and go ahead and be a legend i believe i've selected the wrong <laughs> the wrong save army file let's just quickly have a look i think it might be number seven i might have counted wrong nope that's not the right one either 
the problem with having so many save army files. It might be save army five. Yeah, okay, so. Close those, because those are my other save files. Don't save those. So, okay, so this is what it will look like for you. Um, and you want to, as I said, look for line 30 on column z uh, 01 and input either 0F or 10. I'm going to do 10 because it's the Legends. The beauty regarding the PC version and Legends is that you are able to play as the Legend throughout the entire single player campaign rather than on the PlayStation version when you can only play on the final level. So you want to go down in increments of, thir uh, increments of 4. So one two three and then on the fourth one again input 10 you've only got to do it on column one which is uh, very handy and just do that all the way down again as you can see zero zero indicates that the uh, the pig you are changing to a legend is a grunt um, and continue to do that all the way down in the same locations that i'm showing right now so you want to do that all the way down to one f zero and then again, just want to save that and close HXD. As I said, if you want to play as the ace, just change the the ones we've just done uh, from 0, 0 to 0 F, save it, and then launch up uh, the Hogs of War on Steam. So back here again, and you want to load up the file you just edited. As you can see, it is usually indicated that you have done it correctly by these symbols on the right hand side. That is my team and it is indeed a team of legends. Ta-da, I missed out one guy. That's fine though. Team of wonderful legends. I'm gonna jump into game where you can indeed see that they are shown correctly. They are shown as an actual legend model. They're not shown as a grunt. Doesn't crash the game. Doesn't do anything spooky. As you can see, I've got all the weapons as well. And yeah, it's wonderful. <laughs> so that is... Uh, pretty much everything for this tutorial if anyone has any issues let me know in the comments below and of course join the uh, the discord if you have any other questions or you want to know more um, we are still figuring out other values and stuff and, and being able to change things through the use of the hex editor um, so yeah we're making we're making good progress I hope this helped you because I know that it is one of the biggest questions in the community is how you can actually play as the legend uh, so yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know everything you have to say in the comments. Uh, as I said, the downloads to everything will be in the description. And I'll catch you guys later for the next one. Peace out, everybody. Yeah!